Hello everybody, today I want to show you something very useful and very important for every single one of you, okay? Because this is a situation that you encounter every single day, dude. And this is all about what do you do when your support is sinking? What do you do when your teammates want to FF? What do you do when somehow any millionaire is getting fed, top lane, mid lane, whoever is getting fed? And then you are struggling so much, so, so much to not lose your mind and actually perform in the game, okay? Now, this is tricky. This is very, very tricky. Because first of all, let me tell you, first of all, you need to deal with your own ego, right? With your own expectations. Like, you, before you fight the enemies, before you one be night this game, you need to fight yourself, bro. You need to actually beat yourself. What do I mean by this? I mean that... What I have encountered so far with all people in well, almost every single one in chat, almost every single one that I did coaching, everybody has this kind of mindset. I even I, I have this mindset too. I I tilt sometimes. Why do I tilt? Because all of us we have expectations, right? We expect our support to perform. We expect them to try as hard as we are trying to win the game. And because we have those kind of expectations is that we end up getting tilted. The moment that we cannot accomplish these goals, the moment that we are not allowed to play the game, that we are not allowed to 1v9 to do our best because our support or mid lane or jungler are just running it down, we get tilted, okay? And with, with, uh, with, a, with reason, bro. With actually with reason, right? You should be getting tilted, like, you should be mad. This is not fair. Why is this happening to you, bro? You're just trying to win the game. And this is probably what you're thinking. But the thing here is that, what do you want, bro? What do you value the most? Would, do you value more getting tilted? Expressing your negative emotions by typing to the enemies, by typing to your allies, by flaming your teammates? Or by just soft inting the rest of the game? Or do you value more overcoming these difficulties? And even when everything is bad, even when they are running you even when they are running you down, even then you come out of this game as a better player, bro. Even after all after all that, you come out of this game as a better player and you keep on improving. And listen, I cannot promise you that you're gonna win more games. Like, I mean, definitely you're going to win more games, but I cannot promise you that you are going to win every single game, okay? That is, no, that is not possible, okay? There are games that are just going to lose. Why? Because you make mistakes. Or even if you don't make that much mistakes, like your team might be used that heavy, but what I can promise is that you at least should be able to hit 70% win rate just by doing this, okay? 70, 65% win rate, you're going to end up winning consistently. Okay, so what do we do in this scenario? I'm sorry about this, all this introduction, but this is a matter that... This is something that you need to understand. This is something very, very important that we all deal with, okay? Even from Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Emerald, Platinum, Diamond, Master, Grandmaster, Challenger. We all deal with this, okay? That's why some people consider League just to be a mental game, though. You just need to be... You just need to have a better mental than your enemies and you're gonna end up winning winning way more. Alright? So now let's get on this game. This game, okay, first of all, you need to keep your mental safe, alright? Now, what do we do when we are when we have our mental safe and our support is running it down? We need to focus a lot by but a lot, a lot, a lot on CS bro. Because this this is this is gonna be the only reliable way that we are gonna be able to get farm. And because this is the only reliable way that we're gonna get farm, you might even consider getting call, even if it's late call, like six, five minutes call. It is, it is, that is good. That is definitely good because you are not gonna look for any fight right now. If, and even if you look for a fight, you're gonna win it no matter what, because you are gonna fight only to punish mistakes. You are gonna fight to create scenarios because a failures doesn't really create that much scenarios, especially if you're going the standard crit build. The standard crit build is a you become a beast in mid game, late game, but in early game, you just need to sit there and try to farm and punish mistakes only. So going cold, even when it's late, is good, all right? Now, so far, even if your teammates are in team, like for example here, even you see that you are 
like you are doing everything possible right like they are committing on you you're playing this smart you're playing this front to back you are kiting you're focusing the right target okay we don't have wards whatever we're dodging cc we keep hitting the mine target but we cannot do damage to her because she's just higher level ha has more items um, probably not higher level but more items she just does more items than me i mean she does more damage than me not much we can do now first of all you need to farm second you need to avoid dying like here we don't need we really don't need to commit for this okay we don't need to commit and hope that we end up killing this seri thing that we don't know right only reason only i mean the only reason that you might try to commit here is that you know you're gonna get something out of value here okay or you got something out of value you trade for somebody you trade yourself with somebody and get one for one and you end up getting a shot that's the only way all right if not it's better to stay alive like here if i had died i would be end up, i will be lost in this i will be lost in this wave okay i will have lost the last way too i will end up losing way too much experience and because of that that would have that would have been terrible so so bad dude all right I, I need to finish this call i definitely need to finish this call now so far same thing keeps happening right they my team is flaming each other they're like for example look at this bro look at this like this is so tilting bro like tell me if you wouldn't break your monitor bro if you wouldn't just alt f4 from this game like you see this and it's so bad bro like yeah my what is my brother doing there my man Oh my god. Look at that. Chum. <laughs> and bro, I cannot even blame him, dude. What am I following that play? What am I trying to do? I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be trying to do that. Like there is no there is not a reliable way for me to hit my ultimate there unless he he's using CC, right? Because it's so easy for everybody to see when a is casting ultimate and then the projectile comes off it's so so easy to dodge so unless he's hitting the cc i shouldn't be casting my ultimate i tried to predict that he was gonna hit his c and then follow up his e with my ultimate but that was my mistake and my trash is of course trolling he still did like that is not even me like that is not even me calling him out for playing bad no he he actually was that doing that he actually was doing that he got mad because a seer called him out and he didn't want to play the game anymore like like for example here look at me i'm trying bro i'm definitely trying i'm kiting as much as possible i'm trying to do my best here but look at that bro just runs in and get one shot and he pings me he pings me He's pinging, dude. Why are you committing? Why are you going and he just types go ff 80 gap mid gap yeah and you know bro you know how it is you know how this is dude. like you cannot get dealt uh, with things like this okay you need to listen to me you cannot get dealt okay you want to climb up or do you want to flame do you want to get more lp or do you want to soft in the game all right because listen listen very clearly even if you feel better after flaming this trash even if you feel better after soft inting this game and making sure that your team that doesn't deserve to win loses the game I mean if you feel better after that okay I promise you I promise you that lying delaying that feeling of ex of greatness that feeling of control by making your team lose the game if you delay that feeling and you actually focus on improving you actually focus on trying to carry the game even if it looks like this even look even if it looks doom brother you're gonna end up winning way more and you're gonna feel way better okay i mean i mean i'm just talking about feelings but it depends person to person like to be honest i just don't do it because i feel better one minute or i feel or i feel better by not flaming my trash because god knows the things i would say to the trash I, I, it's not about in my case it's not about feeling um, in my case it's more like um, I want to 1v9 I just want to 1v9 I just want to be better I just want to carry I just want to look back into this game and feel 
proud that I did every single thing possible to win the game. That when I saw a play here, I did not hesitate. When I, when I saw my my super intent, I did not give up. When I saw my teammates losing their mind, flaming each other, I did not, bro. And I still won the game. Like, that's personally for me, right? That, that's how I do it. It's up to you to choose what matters the most for you. In my case, it's that. But you need to set up that. You need to set up that kind of thing before getting into a match because if you just go into the match without planning why are you playing this what are your goals what do you want to do like you're gonna have fun like it's a game after all right we all play to have some fun but then again it's not just a game it's league of legends right who who in the hell plays league of legends ranked to have fun <laughs> yeah you see it's kind of difficult it's kind of complicated let me know what you think about that in the comments okay let me know what is your reason to one be 90 games let me know why you want to win no matter what. Alright, let me know down in the comments. By the way, if you are enjoying the video, make sure to like and subscribe, okay? Now, getting back on topic. If you are trying to do stuff like this, what I would recommend is turning off everything that is about your teammates or your enemies. Anything, right? Anything, even your ego, bro. Just turn that off. Like, nobody cares. I promise you, your teammates don't care. Your enemy, your enemies don't care. Like no, nobody cares, bro. You only care about your ego, and your ego is holding you back. Okay. Forget about expectations. Forget about tilting. Forget about all of all those things, and just focus on yourself. Just focus on improving, even if everything looks bad. Okay. That, that's just what you have to do. Like for example, here one little mistake that I make. One little mistake that I make here is that I did not use Calibru. I did not use Infernum Q right away. If I had used Infernum Q as soon as I landed that auto on the Nocturne, I would have killed him. But because I do it very slowly and I cast my Calibru Q very slowly, I I lost it, bro. I lost, I lost that key. And I, and I was losing my mind. Listen to me. Listen to me, bro. I lose my mind too. I'll kill you. My auto didn't went off. My auto did not win though, so... <sighs> my bad, dude. I don't have all you can... You see what I mean, bro? Even I lose my mind, dude. But the thing is, like, you don't need to be... You don't need to be a, what, a stone man? A stone woman? You, you don't have to, like... Have no feelings, feel no deal. Like, that is impossible, brother. That is just impossible, alright? What I mean by all this is that even though you were tilting, even though you feel like you have expectation, even though, even though you feel like you deserve better, dude, even though you are having all those negative feelings, even after all that, you still perform. You still play the game and you still win it. Alright? That's what I mean. Like I'm not telling you to forget about your emotions, forget about everything. It's possible, bro. It's impossible. Just accept it. And be better, bro. Be better for your own, for your own LP, okay? Like for example, here I'm telling my Trace, please Trace, just breathe. We can win, dude. And he said, okay, we win. My bad. <laughs> that guy is... That guy is such a character, brother. That guy is amazing, dude. And then the seed comes out of nowhere. Oh, I know you. You are Alexis, the OTP Ephelios. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Now that... And we are behind like 13 kills, dude. We are behind a lot. But Trish, actually, like, he wakes up after this. I mean, he is not going to start performing like a madman out of nowhere, but he is performing. Like, look at that, bro. He used Flash E Art. My man, dude. Even though he takes the kill, still, my man, bro. He's trying to make plays. He's trying to be the best. And I respect that, brother. Like, uh... Like, I respect him trying. I respect him doing his best, okay? Um, my Nara feels the ultimate, sadly. But he is still performing. He is still trying, okay? And my team tried to FF. We did not. If we press yes, we probably we probably wouldn't have been playing this game already, okay? Like, it's not me trying to hold them hostage, too, okay? That's something you need to understand. It's not me trying to hold them hostage. It, I, ju I just want to play the game, bro. 
I just want to be better. I just want to use, even if we are losing, I, we can use this opportunity to learn from, from any team fight, bro. We can just keep improving. And this, to me, this is Diamond Master. Dude. I'm playing my Brazil account. By the way, if you have any questions why I'm playing to my Brazil account, it's because I want to hit rank one world failures. And because the website that we are using to check the OTP failures do not count, does not count minor regions, I'm going for rank one challenger otp failures in brazil because brazil is a major region so yeah it's not that i just re challenger i'm gonna start i'm gonna start small thing out of nowhere dude. i i don't i don't like doing that i don't like creating new accounts i this is the only account that i have in brazil so this is what i'm playing like i was saying even, even after all those issues my team is still trying to perform right we did not give up we did not give up Trash found his mental and now we are trying to win this game no matter what all right now, for example, here I still make mistakes, okay? Like, this is just bad. I don't know why I'm being that overconfident. I did not hit. I hit that auto. And that auto is so bad because if I don't have Stone Razor stack, I'm, of course, going to get hit by Nami's bubble. So I messed up so bad there. So, so bad. I end up giving two kills. And we're still behind, like, seven kills. So even after all this. Now, the thing here is that even though we are trying, our teammates still make mistakes. Like, there was no reason for us to be here. There was no reason for us to, to try to play anything here. We did not know where Garen was. I had a terrible weapon set up. My Azir was trying for sure. Like, look at that, bro. Look at that. Look at that art. If I had Infernum there, everybody's gone. But I did not have Infernum. That Nar was still pushing. We had no business trying to fight that, okay? Thankfully, they don't get objectives, and I just don't try to be Rambo here and try and try to fight it. Try to fight them four versus one because there is no way I win that, not with these weapons. And I just keep cool and keep trying to fight. Now here's another thing that I play bad. Okay, I made a lot of mistakes too. Like this veteran Q, I should have kited that Seri. Like there is no reason for me not to kite this brother. If I just kite that brother. I can kill him without me committing that hard on her. Because I have Severum Q, I should just use my Severum Q to set up the chakrams and then kite and then use Crescendum Q in order to press a, to use a turret and follow up the turret out attack with a Calibrum Q. That way I can secure the kill without me having to get too close to Seri. Thankfully, because I have Infinity Edge and I'm playing to skill to get side minions, to get minions in the side lanes, to get camps, I actually, I'm actually allowed to kill her without me getting killed here, even though I played this terrible, okay? And another thing, thanks that, thankfully, because we did not give up, my Nard, bro, my Nard, dude, look at this brother, dude. This man was playing the world's final, dude, look at this guy. I haven't, I really have not seen a better Nard than this, look at this, that flash, then, bro. Look at this guy, dude. Team Q. Look at that damage, bro. This guy has no respect. It's not that he misses that Q, though, but... He's fighting, dude. He's fighting this guy with his life, dude. And he's kiting with his life, dude. Look, look at this. Look at this speed, bro. Damn. Look, look at him. My Nar, bro. Damn. Who is... That guy, bro. That guy is him, bro. That guy is him. Or her. I don't know, bro. That guy is amazing. And look, that moment would have been impossible if we just gave up, dude. And suddenly, we are at the Nexus. We're, we're close to the Nexus. We are at the Nibidort. We have Inferno. And we are so ready to 1v9 this. Even though my Asir kind of pushes them to me. Because we scale. Because it's 30 minutes and we have Gathering Storm. You know, you know how this works, bro. You know how this works. You know what a failure with three items does. There is no way that we lose this anymore, okay? Now, I, I hope you find this part of the video very useful because... Like, I know I kind of talk a lot about stuff that you are not so used to listen to. Like most of other videos would just say to you, okay, you need to buy, you need to be this, you need to go these runes, and you need to do this. But at the end of the day, brother, if you are playing something like Aphelios, which is not precisely mechanically demanding, 
if you you are not gonna play anybody bro you just need to outsmart them and the way to smart them is having a better mental is playing to win is playing safe when you need to play safe playing aggressive when you need to play aggressive and just doing your best even in the worst scenarios okay thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy it you can become a crescendo tier member of the channel and unlock a coaching session each month which has an insane value so i'll see you on next video thank you thank you goodbye